Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is an award-winning innovator and trailblazer. By targeting systemic barriers and utilizing a lived experience lens, she is transforming the Canadian food industry and empowering individuals from all walks of life to pursue their culinary dreams. So here to tell us all about how she's opening doors that historically have been closed to underserved communities is the founder of Foodpreneur Lab, Janice Bartley. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So Foodpreneur Lab, it's not just any organization. It is the only Canadian black woman founded and led nonprofit with a mission to advance racial and gender equity in the food sector. Yes. Can you tell us about the inspiration that you had to get this business up and running, nonprofit uh, up and running? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, the inspiration came from working within the food entrepreneurship space uh, with my experience in hospitality and uh, you know, on the culinary side. And what I noticed was a gap in representation. This mm. was about, not to age myself, but three decades or so. <laughs> um, there was really, you could see. And, you know, transitioning into another space, again, in food, I noticed there was a gap. And so there was this epiphany when once you realize that you can't pretend you're not seeing it. And so working with food entrepreneurs in that particular space that was really what made me find the purpose to give back to community and create Foodpreneur Lab because there was a gap, therefore there was a need that mm -hmm. was not being met. Okay, so let's talk about that. So lack of representation in the food ecosystem. So what are some of the unique challenges that um, specifically black food entrepreneurs are encountering in their businesses? So the first one we always hear is funding and funding at various levels. Their funding, is, uh, as an example, would be startup capital. It's difficult to get money to, to get the business off the ground. Then there's working capital, which is money to operate the business. Then there is infrastructure and equipment, money to buy and you know, have a facility that you can use. Um, there's also lack of funding for research and development because we can't um, you know, test and expand on our food products because we don't have the money to do that. And then there's this, the social uh, impact as well. You know, how do we build our local food systems? So if we don't have that money, especially within our own communities, then how do you address issues that are larger, such as food insecurity, mm -hmm. you know, and, and food, uh, food sovereignty as well? Mm. Now, one of the ways that Foodpreneur Lab um, helps its participants uh, from, you know, coming up with the idea and then building the business, launching the business is through advisors. So can you talk about the importance of mentorship when it comes to black entrepreneurship? Absolutely. The, the mentorship side is integral to moving the dial. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by that is within the black community, we don't have those skill sets because that's a very specialized skill set. So when you bring in that advisor who's been in the food industry that understands how to navigate the food system, it really helps the food entrepreneur address the immediate challenges. One of the beautiful things about our pathways is that not only are there food entrepreneurs, but they're actually dealing and troubleshooting at the same time while they're in the path, where traditionally you tend to learn the information, mm -hmm. it gets delayed in transference, and then you have to come back and go, oh, I remember when we do that, we try and make this as much as real time as possible. And so the other thing too as well is, you know, women are significantly underfunded as well mm -hmm. as, as, as are non-for-profits, especially ra racialized non-for-profits. And so when you bring in the food experts, they get the opportunity to learn as well what the challenges yes. are. So it's an exchange of information yeah. and cultural information as well. That's, it's a mentor and menteeship yes, that goes absolutely. back and forth. Yeah. So we're going to take um, just a little walk to uh, sure. the other side of our absolutely. studio, if you don't mind, because Foodpreneur Lab actually sells a black diaspora box. And um, it includes a variety of one-of-a-kind creations made by your participants in yes. the program. So this is a sample. Take us through it. So here we have our infused fruit, and this is really special for us because this was the 2023 uh, Award Innovation Award winner, which is huge, black owned, first time ever. And she's in the audience. And she's in the audience. Yes. So we, give her an applause. Um, we have 
uh, pepper jelly by Yachty's, you know, it's like butter. Uh, yeah. It, it goes on very well. It, it, it's really good with uh, charcuterie boards. Um, we have lignum honey, which is infused. Um, great product, goes well with teas as well, you know, if you want to infuse that in your tea. One More Cocoa is out of Whitby. Um, she managed to get a contract for 20 plus thousand, so she's now a, an official food supplier, which is great. Yeah, we have Madagascar Sugar, which is amazing, as you can tell. And over here, which is one of my favorites, is this is a fruit-based spice rub. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yes. And even when you stand over it, you can smell the aromas. Yeah. So it's we have some really innovative products here, yeah. and that's the emphasis. Yes. So when we have the opportunity, money, infrastructure, we can do more than this. Our mandate right now is to support 200 black food entrepreneurs. Yeah. And you know we do this by giving them opportunities to showcase their products. And right now these products are also at stack. Okay, okay. can we so, ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Quick, please, if where could, like right now I wanna buy all of this. Yes. So where do I find all of this? One, you can go on our website. And two, these products are also featured at Stacked Market, which is on Bathurst. Okay. And we're on the front of Bathurst and this summer. And give us summer. your, your yeah. website also. Uh, www.foodpreneurlab.com. Okay. Now, it, and here's the thing, when it comes to marketing it. Yes. And it's one thing, I think <laughs> we have to expand our palettes. Save me some. Okay. Uh, save okay, me some. We have oh, to wow. expand our palettes yes. collectively. So I yes. wanna know about how that is a relation, there's a relationship between all of us eating in a more well-rounded way and how that markets the food into different stores where then consumers are gonna start asking for things that they weren't tasting before and they didn't yes. have access to. So this is where local markets play an integral role. Your community market, you know, Stack Market, Sense Laurent Market, um, the Brickworks, because this is the entry or what we say the gateway for food entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And so what that also allows is to connect with the consumer and share the history mm. and the brand story. So for instance, this is in honor of his mom who is no longer with him and is, you know, is, is a dedication to, to her cooking skills and, Ooh, and that's nice. Yeah, and, and what she did. So mm -hmm. there is a story, there are generational stories, there are cultural stories. And mm -hmm. in that engagement, that's where we create community because, you know, food is a connector, food is community, and food is love. Thank you so much for your You're work. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, everyone watching, you can purchase your very own Black Diaspora box at foodpreneurlab.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.